DimesDefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat those odds. If you're new to the page, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Make sure you click the bell so you're notified every single time I drop anything on this channel. Go live. Sometimes we talk about prop bets, future bets, college basketball is on the horizon. I am willing, I am going to drop um, a college basketball NBA combo pack for you guys. Um, and I'll also drop some stuff separately. We're going to look at a weekend pack as well. You, you can pay $35 and you'll be able to get the entire weekend, right? So you'll get set, well, you'll get Saturday and Sunday, right? So which is which is big because typically college football has a ton of games Saturday, and then we have college basketball will have a ton of games Saturday. Then also you'll still get NFL on Sunday. It's really a great deal, good opportunity for people to hop on and, and bet some games here on Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday, Sunday weekend pack will be $35.99 coming up um, very shortly. Hopefully I can get that loaded up here today and have it ready for the weekend for you guys. But Coming off a tough free pick loss, we had the Celtics on the money line yesterday, and the shots just did not fall. They had every opportunity to win that game, and not very good shooting from Jalen Brown and, or Jason Tatum. Um, I thought the refereeing officiating was was very sketchy, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. Looking to bounce back here today, so still 3-1, and one, I believe, our last four free picks. Want to get you another free pick win here today. If you're not following Bryce, TikTok, and Twitter, mainly where he operates, this guy's in the Circa Million Contest, and let's just say he's doing very well. So make sure you follow him. TikTok and Twitter is where he operates. The links are down below. My social media links are down below. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff, right? So I have two picks within this Thursday night game. Obviously, Thursday night football, Phil's game's tied up. Wow. No hit after giving after giving them five runs the other day. So hopefully they can bounce back and get a win before we head back into the Houston Astros. But we have our Eagles here. Thursday night football, primetime, Amazon Prime, 815. They are now 14-point favorites. That line was at 9.5. It's ballooned up to 14, and for good reason here. Um, if you've been paying attention, the only undefeated team, 7-0, going here into Week 9 on Thursday night. Short week for both teams. Um, Phillies coming, or Phillies, Eagles coming off um, a nice win last week where they put up a ton of points. And we basically tuned into the A.J. Brown show as they were able to completely um, just route the Pittsburgh Steelers, which we know is not a very good team offensively or defensively. They don't have a lot going on for them. They still have young Kenny Pickett in the helm, Najee Harris. They have some, some good pieces. We saw them make some moves at the trade deadline also. And then we have Houston, who's coming off a tough loss there against the Tennessee Titans with their rookie quarterback in Malik Willis with Tannehill out. Um, Malik Willis comes in. They don't even throw the ball for 50 yards and they still win the game 17 to 10 here so something to pay attention to in this matchup total is set at 45 and a half it's moving up a lot of folks must be hopping on that um over driving that number up um 45 and a half and the spread is at 14 points now it's obviously everyone's jumping on the philadelphia eagles and we know how bad the texans are bad deep bad run defense for the houston texans pass defense is not that bad the, the addition of Derek Sting, stingley and some of these other guys has been uh, pretty good for them, right? They've been about middle of the pack, I believe 15, 16, 17, somewhere in that range in pass defense. So this is not a very bad pass defense, and I don't see why um, Philly would come out here. I don't think we're going to see the same offense that we saw last week. This is a team that's very balanced, um, and they had a lot of big shots last week, a lot of explosive plays, and I think the Texans do a pretty good job at limiting that, uh, and they do a good job within the pass defense. They'll make it work for it. So if you're the Eagles, I don't know why you would even – uh, worry about it. You come in here and you run the ball steady and you're going to win this game and play sound defense, right? This offense still very young. Uh, young Mills is at the quarterback helm. Not sure if Brandon Cooks is going to play. Uh, he's a questionable. Um, and Damian Pierce is really the workhorse for them. They want to hand the ball off. They want to run it. Um, and they want to try to play sound defense. The run defense is abysmal. I expect to see a lot of Miles Sanders. I expect to see some Boston Scott. I expect to see some Kenneth Gainwell. We know this Philadelphia Eagles team tends to jump out early um, and then let off the gas late. So I expect them to come in here, pound the rock, play sound defense, and get the heck out of Dodge with a nice win here. But I'm going to look at the total in this one. I think it goes under the total. I have no confidence in the Houston Texans to score points. I have a lot of confidence in this Eagles defense. I have a lot of confidence in their in their uh, in their offense as well. Their ability to move the ball, whether it's running or passing the ball. I'm not expecting a ton of points here in this one. Certainly not from the Houston Texans. Maybe some field goals here and there. Um, but overall, I just think we're asking too much too much for the Eagles to come back again um, and score a ton of points. Now, if you take a look at what they've done on the road this year, right? Their only their one road game they opened up this year was the Detroit Lions. We know that all that defense is a hot trash. Everyone scores a 30 piece on them. But then you take a look at they played in Washington a road game, 24 to 8. They scored 24 points. Then they go on the road to Arizona, 20 to 17. They get that win. They only score 20 points. I think that they come in here and get the job done, but I'm not sure that we're going to see another 35, 38, 30 point scoring out effort um, from the Philadelphia Eagles in this one. Give me under the total. Philadelphia Eagles, Houston Texans under 45 and a half. 
um, check it out, shop around. Maybe you'll be able to get 46. It seems like that number is moving and moving quick. I will have two plays um, on this game. Um, so make sure you hop on the card and get involved. 45 and a half right now is what we have the official free pick. Eagles, Texans, under 45 and a half is the official free pick of the day, guys. Let me know if you agree, you disagree, whatever the case may be. Go Eagles, go Phillies. It's Phillies year. Let's do it, baby. Derek, da 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 dimes, defeatthebook.com, guys. Best of luck whether you decide to tail or fade, but either way, hope you guys have a great Thursday. God bless.